Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so, um, first and foremost, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I love you. You're amazing. Um, and Jesus Christ is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, now, like, I know there are a lot of Muslim viewers of this channel who uh, probably actually make up the majority of uh, the subscribers to this channel, and uh, a couple of them said, like, uh, thanks to Allah or praise Allah, and I still, like, loved their comment because, well, first of all, like, I grew up with, like, my childhood best friend as a Muslim while I was a Christian, uh, but, you know, like, I respect what you choose to believe in to me and what I know and I'm 100% confident of this more confident than the solution to the problem I'm going to provide you Jesus is God he's the only God and he's the light the way and the truth um, so don't panic in moments of trouble just follow Jesus Christ and yeah you'll be fine he's amazing at protecting his sheep um, okay um, <laughs> what else yeah uh, that's it uh, so part two, I already introduced uh, this video series in part one, and as I said there, I have incredibly well-crafted lessons on vectors from the basics to some really advanced topics. Everything you need is in that playlist, but of course, these additional problems enhance that playlist, and therefore, uh, these problems. I know, I have them written in this one. So what it is, is this. Um, so. Uh, what we have to do is find a vector of length 5 uh, in the opposite direction direction of of um, the vector uh, u, say, which is equal to, doesn't really matter the coordinates. That's why I'm making this up as we go along. So let's say 2, negative 3, and then 4. So find a vector of length 5 in the opposite direction of this vector. All right, cool. Now, immediately we know that negative u is going to point in the opposite direction of the vector u. So um, yes, 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 I can draw uh, the vector u and the three-dimensional coordinate plane, but other than like adding time to this video, there's no big value in that. So uh, just follow that if this is the vector u, then uh, and it points, let's say, this way, this is u. Negative u is of the same length, but points in the exact opposite direction. So negative u would be like this, right? And same length and same inclination, but in the exact opposite direction. So we want negative u to begin because one of the things that we have to do is make sure that this second vector we're coming up with is in the opposite direction of u. Okay, cool. So negative u is this. Negative u is um, negative 2, ah, negative 2, um, 3, and negative 4. This is negative u. Got it? Okay, cool. Now, how do we ensure that uh, this vector, which we know points in the opposite direction, is of length 5? Huh, I have an idea. Let's first make it a unit vector. Let's make it of length 1. And so we know from all those really good lessons that I you know, created a while back, um, we know how to make this uh, a unit vector. So uh, this will be a unit vector if we do, if we do negative u over the length of u, right? Negative u over the length of u. And yes, the uh, length of any vector is written with these double bars around the vector or single bars. It's like inconsistent in books. So I'll write it in single bars because it's less marker. Okay, um, less use of the marker. Okay, now how do we find um, the length of a vector in 3D? Turns out not very hard. So. Uh, let me do it over here. So the length of the vector u is going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to, um, ah, sorry guys, it's going to be equal to uh, the square root of, the square root of, uh, in this case, negative 2 squared, the x component squared, plus the y component squared, so that's 3 squared, no need to put that in the parentheses, 3 squared, and then plus negative 4 squared, all right? Okay. 
Okay. Ah, very good. Okay. So, what's that going to be? This is going to equal the square root of 4 plus 9 plus 16. Okay, 9 plus 69, I know, is 25. Plus 4 is 29, so it's going to be the square root of 29. All right? So when we multiply negative u by the scalar, 1 over the length of u, then we're going to make negative u a unit vector. All right? So I'm saying that this here now is going to equal, it's going to equal 1 over the square root of uh, 29, 1 over the length of u, times negative u times negative u, we already have right here, so that's going to be times uh, negative 2, 3, and negative 4. And again, from having watched those videos, you'd know how um, scalar multiplication works for vectors. We just multiply each of the entries by the scalar. So when we execute this, I'm saying we're going to get, we're going to get uh, negative 2 over root 29, and then 3 over root 29, and then finally, uh, negative 4 over root 29. All right, so this is it. Got it. So this points in the same direction as negative u, and therefore opposite u, but this here is of length 1. So how do we make it of length 5? We multiply this vector by 5. So I just multiply by 5 means I could just put a 5 right here, and I could put a 5 right here, scalar multiplication. So our final answer, the answer to this question is uh, one possibility of what this vector could be is uh, negative 10, negative 10 over uh, square root of uh, 29, and then uh, 15 over square root of 29, and finally uh, negative 20 over square root of 29. All right? Okay, cool. And let's get rid of this. So here we are. Yeah? Okay, cool. And I say one possibility because basically like we can keep this vector as long as it is and uh, just shift it down or the other way. And so there are actually infinitely many vectors of length 5 in the opposite direction to this, this right? But uh, Or we can give infinitely many answers. There are not infinitely many vectors. They're uh, different from one another, but they're all the same vector. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.